Oh my god, I'm a YouTuber. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mukbang for you guys or mukbang, whatever. Um, I got Taco Bell. I'm so excited. I'm so eager to eat right now. Literally, no one cares about the intro. Subscribe if you're not already. I'm gonna, you know, a little food haul. And I'm so excited to eat. This is my dinner. We're gonna start it off with the classic Baja Freeze. So good. Didn't feel the need to get the two pack or the four pack. I really felt the need to get the 12 pack. I love how on the side it says to share or not to share. Like girl, we ain't sharing. I've actually only had like two of these in my entire life. So we're gonna go right in and eat one. I'm so excited. Yes. Yes. We're gonna wash it down because it's a little sweet with my Baja Freeze. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh my, okay, excuse my ratchet nails, but oh my god. Also, why did I actually order the entire menu? I got so much stuff. I also don't know what I got. Oh my gosh. This is actually so funny. I don't even know what this is. Okay. We're just going to take it all out of the bag. But anyway, the one thing I want to discuss is how good J. Cole's new album is. Holy crap. I love it. Also, look how much stuff I got. It's literally like the never-ending story, bro. Oh my god. So excited. I was never like into J. Cole. I never got into his music. But he dropped that album, right? And if you haven't listened, go listen. It is so freaking good. And like... He's J. Cole reminds me a lot of Frank Ocean, how they're just those artists where you can like, if you don't know what to listen to, you just shuffle their music and it's perfect. No matter your mood, it's just like, it's just good music to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Also, I know I'm editing this right now. Like you're giving me no content to work with. I'm editing it and that's exactly what I'm thinking. Also, I'm definitely eating this piece of tin foil first. I don't know what this is. Um... Oh, it's my chicken quesadilla. Okay, honestly, not mad about her at all. She good, she a little spicy. She a little flimsy, a little soggy in there too. I'm gonna let that regulate how I feel about her. You know what I'm saying? Post Malone just dropped his album as well and I've given it like a little skim. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like a big Post Malone fan. I know people are probably already hitting the dislike button. He's just not really my guy. I think his music is really good for his sad songs, but like I could never be like, yo, turn on some Post Malone right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get motivated to being a better you after a hard time in your life or during a hard time. I really like this topic because I've been talking with my friends a lot lately about this because I'm a junior in high school and just like we're kind of in the abyss right now of like of like taking a step forward in our life and like everyone is kind of at this stage of their life where we're supposed to know what we're what we're so what supposed to know what i want to do but people always tell me like you don't have to know what you want to do but it's like there's like this societal pressure on everyone in high school to know what they want to do and all that kind of stuff and so i think life can get stressful in that aspect as well as just like i'm in high school like stuff happens um you get in trouble here and there you know what i'm saying so I think that the big thing about getting in trouble, being unmotivated, feeling down, is you have to get the negativity out of your system in order to let your positivity radiate. Because I think if you're negative and you suppress that and you just try to be happy and joyful and positive and have this positive energy, it's not going to work because eventually the negative energy that you suppressed is going to just like erupt. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> that was so disgusting. But good bro i don't know what this is this is the potato thing bro that is so good i think that no matter the scenario that life hands you or no matter the cards you're dealt your mindset is going to influence everything it's going to influence your actions it's going to influence your behavior it's going to influence your mood and that is so important because if you especially if you're like in trouble or you're Let's say it's something as simple as your parents being like, oh, you can't go out tonight, you know, just stay in tonight. If you have the mindset of like, well, screw everything, 
then you're gonna have a bad time you know but if you're like you know what that's okay i haven't been alone in a while maybe tonight i can write maybe tonight i can just find new music your mindset is truly everything um one of my best friends told me that i once got i was like in this not ideal situation in my life at one point and she was like you know it's not that bad you're making it worse with your mindset that you have and i was like you are so right. Some of the best advice that I'm, anyone's ever told me, they're just like, like, you're making this worse than it needs to be. And I think that's something everyone needs to understand is when you're mindful of what you're saying, what you're talking about, where your mind is. If you're thinking about negative things, if you're thinking about things you don't want to be doing, you just have to be mindful of what you're saying, what you're doing, who you're with, your own thoughts. Wait, I need to take a bite. Bro, what? She got me two, two um, potato things. I'm not even mad about it. It's the same thing though. Okay, wait, this is the Frito thing and I'm actually so excited. Bah, everything is popping. I love everything I got. Especially those potato griller things and they were only a dollar. I highly recommend. 100%, I'm so serious. The energy that you give off to the world is what you're going to be receiving because if you're negative, there's no way that anything positive will seem positive to you. But if you're positive, no matter the aspects in life or the scenario that you're in, it's still going to be positive because the universe is going to reflect you that energy. You know what I'm saying? So, this is weird. Like, there's rice. I think there's some Fritos. I don't know how I feel. Oh, it tastes like chili in a burrito form. Wow, I'm kind of getting full. No, I'm not. Um, other thing. That's disgusting. The meat is cold. Still gonna eat it though. But girl, we still got nachos. I'm not a fan of this. Overall, Dorito Loco Taco, a 10. Always a 10. I always get a Dorito Loco. Um, this potato thing is really good actually. I really like the like sauce on it. And she gave me two, so thank you for plugging. Um, nachos are gross. I don't like that sauce. Bro, then why are you picking up another one to eat? This is kind of disappointing because I said I want something really crunchy and she said get the Frito burrito. Girl, I got your Frito burrito and it's kind of gross. They're really good. I have two left so I ate 10 and I'm about to eat 11. And another really good thing I just want to like touch base on is there's no point in life ever to just like try to impress everyone or if someone's like yeah i don't like you and you're like why don't you like me who cares they don't like you don't chase after them don't try to spend your time don't waste your time trying to convince someone that you are worth their time because you don't need anyone who doesn't need you and that is something i will forever look at my past self and i want to slap her in the face with that advice you don't need anyone who doesn't need you and don't spend your time trying to convince anyone that you're worth their time because if someone brushes you off if someone makes you a convenience then then you don't need them along with that you're gonna have people in your life that you respect so highly of that are going to want your time and you might not understand why you might be like why do you want to hang out with me like why are you making so much time for me like i'm not i'm not that special but it's so important that you understand your own worth and it's so important that when someone you love or bro i'm literally out of breath from eating so much food my heart is racing i think i'm going to go into a coma of taco bell oh my god other pet peeve when people say it like that taco bell no it's taco bell not taco bell i hate that so much never ever like dim your light never underestimate yourself because first of all that makes you vulnerable to the point of like looking weak which is weak and we ain't weak here these nachos were honestly a bust absolutely disgusting um oh my eye is so itchy anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you are new here like i said before subscribe that would be super dope make sure you follow me on all of my social media it's linked below um check out my other videos as well thank you guys so much for watching on a real note i really appreciate it and i love you all so 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 much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Oh my God. 
iconic.